Lysander, let's go. Move it. What's wrong with all of you? Why do you all just sit there? How dare you all just sit there? Damn the wall. They say good things are coming, but when? But when? Don't you know? She's dying, don't you know? The gods are dying. No other explanation for it. Don't you know? None of your jumping off the Hillenburg Bridge. Police have gone to try and stop the mass suicides, but to no avail. Paula is on the scene. Yes, yes, I'm here. Or I'm not hard to say. Oh, there goes another one. But the crowd is so thick, it's hard to see anything. Oh, there goes another. Jesse, there was an actual line of people on the Hillenburg waiting to jump. A line! A line! Can you believe it? Oh, Jesse, there was a woman holding a child in her arms. A child, Jesse! She's throwing him! She's throwing him! A child off the bridge! What are these times? A child is death the answer, Jesse? Is it? And there goes the mother. Oh, uh, oh, Jesse! I cannot believe my eyes, but the mother is suspended in mid-air. She's stuck. Oh, she's just floating there. Oh, she's wriggling, trying to get to the river. Oh, she's upside down. Oh, Jesse, she's not wearing any underwear. Oh, haven't you heard? The room is not a room. It's walls close in and the mirrors drip. Oh, the letters spin. Gods. 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 Let the end come quick. I'd hate to witness crime. Earth's natural laws have lost all meaning. They were weighed upon too heavily. Too much faith put into such delicate beings. We thought of them as all-knowing. We thought them as all-powerful. We thought the laws would always remain absolute. But there are no absolutes. But we would like there to be. We lean too hard on our solar system. The stars are stressed. The stars are stressed. The stars are stressed. Oh, what will come of us now? Now, over to Raina. Raina? Raina, can you hear us? Yes, yes, you, you are heard. It, it's a mess, really. Our president is still inside. People have jumped at the gate of the gate. The lawn is covered in bodies. People are up against the windows. People are up against the door. Oh, oh, they're scaling the house they are. Oh, it's a riot it is. Oh, this is, what has become of us? Is this free will? <laughs> there is no free will. Don't you know? No sole person is responsible for their actions. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Look at us. We are a mob. Where is the individual in this? This is a product of cause. The reaction is of the herd. There is no free will, but oh, there is too much freedom. They are scaling the walls. They are. They demand answers. Answers from the infallible. Shouldn't the president know? Shouldn't she know? Faith is being thrown back in their faces. Listen up. This is all your fault. Belief in someone you've never met? How can you all be so stupid? The woman had speechwriters. You've never heard her own voice. The laws were never hers to hold. And you put your faith in that? She has no answers! <laughs> you stupid herd. Let the fun ride. God, 
I love a good mob. Vona! Lucy! Morningstar! Get out of this mob! This isn't fun! This is violence! Let the chaos ride, my dove! This is what you crave! You know it! You do! Ugh. Oh. Beauty is terror. And tonight is so magnificent. <laughs> my dove, if your ears may hear me over isolation, then meet me in our field. Meet me at the bench. Serpens and Orpheicus. That's two. You're cheating again. 
but they are intertwined. So is it really two? Do they not paint one picture together? Reviver of the dead and the serpent reborn. Uh, everyone I know is too Greek. Lysander, now you. I'm not Greek. Oh? Jewish. Russian Jew, if you go far enough back. You as well, no. All right, well, I'm not religiously Jewish. It's all just... What is time? What is time? I think time. Where was the time? What is time? Where was the time? Not eternal at all. No, Dove. Stars go through phases of life, dying as well. They go into a, a supernova. Great name. I like my death to be called something so magnificent. The supernova uses up all the remaining energy of the star at once, and it's an explosion, really. Then a white dwarf comes about, and soon, the star is birthed a new star. Or, with the greater stars, a black hole is brought about instead of the dwarf. Very binary. Reborn white or black. And the black hole? Ugh. What misunderstood beauties. I love them, I do. They don't suck. They bend. And what happens is... Oh, look! That red one there? That's a hypergiant. Beetlejuice. Where did you study all of this? Here, at Lucy's Astronomy Hill. <laughs> Mouthful of a name. But then again, so is Bona's Hill of Isolation, as I dubbed it to Amit. Isolation? Just you and I. And all of them. <laughs> oh, damn the wall. It needs a new name. <sighs> the bench. Of. Think to how we met. The bench. Ah. The bench. Shahar, at your service. Actually, not at your service. I'm at the service of myself, but that is what people say, isn't it? At your service. Um, what's going through your mind at the moment? I'll tell you what's going through mine. You are beautiful. Stunning, really. Got a bit of an odd face-to-head ratio, but I like it. I like your looks. That's all I can think about at the moment, and in a way, I hate that. I don't want to be part of the male gaze and all that. But you know how it goes. You see something beautiful, and you have to ask, why torture yourself by drawing your eyes away? I'm Bona. Last name? You don't exist to me. Does it matter? I gave you mine. It's only fair. Payment. I like it. Well, I suppose that's good then. Yes, it is. So tell me, why are you on this bench? Then I told you about my fight with Straw. How she and I decided to go on break during break. Remember how you described it? Sort of like Ross and Rachel-like. <laughs> Except, hopefully not at all. I shudder at the thought of dating a Ross. Who? Friends. Enemies. What game is this? <laughs> Perhaps I'm the Ross? Perhaps. I suppose so. I am too wound up. And I told you to come with me because I'd give you the freedom you needed. And I did. What is time? What is time? Where was the time? What is time? Where was the time? Fucking light pollution. Uh, there are some 
stars. Where? There. No, you're blind. As are you. Oh, really? Yes. And we stumble about in the darkness <laughs> together. Indeed. And where shall we go? On a search for the stars. All right. White dwarf or red giant? Mm, I want to see Orion. And I'm sure he wants to see you too. So take me to him. I shall, I shall. Keep your eyes closed, all right? Why Orion? Mm, why not? It's cliche. Uh, then so be it. Uh, I see him. Not yet. Wait. All right, Dove. Stars are ready for you. Now. 
deprived of a use it was never meant to have. Yes, well, it had it and now it doesn't. What have you got there? Sien. I saved her. A Van Gogh? I saved her. That's what you were doing? I saved her. You should have seen what the museum was like. No one cares. It's all going away anyway. You're being a dick. I can't believe Jesus just called me a dick. Is now the time to talk musicals? There won't be any other time. <laughs> She's dying. Over 100 people have declared themselves to be Jesus, reports say. None of them are, but each certainly has gathered a following. One man has 932 people who believe they will be saved by following him up to the top of Roftenfer Mountain. These false messiahs are not uncommon and often happen in times of crisis. That's a shame. What? The messiahs. Uh, I mean, comfort in crisis is good and all, but having a hundred of them just feels like a mockery to faith. Faith is a mockery to faith. I mean, when, when it's organized at all. Personal faith is good. Collective faith is disgusting. Yeah, but personal faith brings about too much unrest. Knowing there's others who think the same as you, that that's where half the comfort comes from. Well, if you need that, then maybe you should be questioning your personal faith. Faith in the president has squandered away to nothing. People are calling her a false god, though one must ask, did she ever claim to be one? See? I find faith in real people to be much worse than that in gods. You may be right with that. Besides, embracing something helps. Numbs your final days. That's the solution in the same way suicide is. If that's so, you have no reason to talk down faith. I guess I don't. I'd do it with someone. Kill myself. It'd have to be with someone else, though. I know we all die alone no matter what, but... I don't know. It's irrational. I'd want someone to hear my last words. Yeah. Even if they were about to go to? With no one to pass the words on to? I don't know. Would you listen to my words? If I knew that it would somehow symbolically give you permission to kill yourself, I'd stuff my ears with tissue. No, Lysander, truthfully, right here, right now, we're dying anyway, and I don't want to go slow and neither do you. We could have sex. Like you're supposed to do before the end of the world. <laughs> You don't want that. <laughs> you're thinking about the words now, aren't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, Moose says there's a third solution, and that's just to accept it. Accept life and accept death and, and respect it enough not to kill yourself. Camus also calls faith philosophical suicide. Let me see the picture. Her breasts look strange. <laughs> She was a prostitute, I think, but she also had children. There are lots of different breasts in the world. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah, they all were. You didn't save her. Gave her some extra time. Well, that's better than nothing. I think it's much the same. 
her. How many people thought that, gleaned that, whatever? It's more than two people. <laughs> <laughs> that was my rehearsal joke.